Hey everybody, welcome back to We Are Podcast Network. This is We Are Air Season 3, Episode 5, Christmas Cast. If this is your first time checking out the podcast, thank you so much. Please go to your favorite podcast app, Spotify, Stitcher, Podbean, or iTunes, and give We Are Podcast a like. And if you get a chance, head over to our social media. All links can be found in the description. We're at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at backslash We Are Podcast. With that said, on to the podcast. We are rare. Hey everybody, welcome to the We Are Air podcast. This is Duck. I'm here with Jake and Happy. And we have a very special three additional people here with us. Woo! Oh, we also shit. have Micah and Greg and Ethan. Oh my god, it's a full fucking house for our Christmas cast. That's yeah. what we're gonna Christmas do cast. Chris cast. We're gonna have a Chris cast right now. Oh, Christmas. Yeah. So what is the We Are Era podcast? The podcast we talk about movies, entertainments, whatever the fuck we want to talk about. And today we're gonna have our Chris cast. Chris cast. A good time. Chris. So, as our friends are here, we're gonna talk a little bit about Christmas because it is the most wonderful time of the year. Can I get another beer? It is the most wonderful time. Time for a beer. Time for a beer. I think what he meant to say is the most wonderful time. I'll take a top. I just want to bring the whiskey to the table. Yeah, if you would just put the bottle on the table. I'll take one. We're going to start with some questions to start some conversations. Oh, shit. What does Christmas mean to you? Starting with Micah. Well, I like paganism. <laughs> and uh, the Catholics try to cover it up, but I know what Christmas is really about. Right. And that's uh, doing mushrooms. <laughs> Jake, how about you? What does Christmas mean to you other than the satanic beginnings of Oh, man, Micah stole my answer. <laughs> <laughs> you want the Merriam-Webster's dictionary sure. uh, definition of what I think it is? What do you think it is? A bunch of idiots celebrating something that isn't real. But, yeah, that was, yeah, yeah, he's exactly right. Uh, you went hard against the Catholics. I thought this was a yeah. Christmas <laughs> Catholic. This, this, this is a fucked Catholic episode. We're railing into all the Catholicism. I don't like the, you know, I don't like Surprise religion. Surprise podcast, motherfuckers. We're taking down the Vatican. <laughs> The religion I really hate, but the pedophilia? Yeah. Maybe yeah. 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 <laughs> Turn a blind eye, just in a different different church. Um, so for Christmas, what, do, what does it mean to you? It used to mean, like, I got all the fucking things that I ever wanted. I got all the goddamn... Ninja Turtle toys. I told this story on there. I got every goddamn Ninja Turtle one night. Fucking Sega Genesis. Nintendo 64. Dreamcast. That's what Christmas means to me. Oh, oh yeah. And also family and love and shit. And <laughs> and shit. Like that. Greg, how about you? I, I don't know. Christmas is a nice time. You know, you get to see people at their happiest and they're running around and they're shopping and they're thinking about people and they're being festive and listening to nice music. It's uh, pretty good. Dude, you just Dr. Phil that shit. I can stand it for about a month. <laughs> All right. After our attack on the Vatican, you were with it. Ethan, how about you, sir? Really kind of about the same thing for me. You know, uh, it, I'm sorry, is the way I move the mic not, uh, like, not smooth like, enough for you? And now we have Ethan, who saw the whole thing. Oh, thank you, Doug. <laughs> this, uh, this, this microphone is mine now. So, Ethan, what does Christmas do? I don't know, it's the same shit he said, you know, family, friends, and all that stuff. Most people are at their happiest, and everyone's just kind of having a good time, man. So... I always love that. It just brings my spirits up, seeing everyone else so happy. Yeah, uh, yeah I like that. Uh, it's more about seeing everybody else being happy. I don't give a shit about my own They're happiness. They're all faking it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a convincing fake. Though. Right. I like yeah. the fake. I like the lies. All selling it. Hobby, how about you? A big plate of turkey and sausage. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I like cooking for people. I like being making people happy during the holidays yeah. and shit. That's what I like about it. All right. And also the presents. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say for me, hookers and uh, booze. So if oh anyone wants to buy me a hooker and bring me some liquor, I'd appreciate it. Well, I brought the liquor already. All right. Well, we just need a hooker. For me, Christmas is about friends and family. I don't have family here except where I do. I got my family. Even Love you, bro. Greg, Micah, I'm happy you're here, yeah. too. Awesome. Uh, for me... But you ain't family. <laughs> you will be. You will be. Here's <laughs> your initiation. initiation. <laughs> you gotta yeah. work up to it. And, Do your time. It, 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 we it, love you. It, it love makes you everything. Too. Absolutely. Right? So, moving on to the next question. Micah, what is your favorite Christmas memory? 
I drink a lot. I smoke a lot of weed. Yeah. Memories are a fading thing. Um, I'm trying to think, though. Error, error, memories <laughs> fleeting. <laughs> I've blocked a lot of my happy memories out. Yeah. Marijuana affects the memory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, every Christmas, we would drive up to Tennessee to see my dad's parents. And one time, there was an ice storm. We stopped at a gas station. And my dad's backing out of the gas station and ran over a dude. <laughs> like the ice was slick and everything. He just bumped what? him. What? Well, you he... can't see his over faces. Went, what? <laughs> what the fuck? He didn't run over him, but he bumped him on slick ice and he fell over. And the guy was like, kind of, you know, mess. Was he drunk? What no, he that? just got at the gas station trying to get <laughs> ice. <laughs> trying to get. Guy <laughs> trying to get home to his family. <laughs> just another guy trying to see his grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad bumped him, and he's like kind of in shock, like, what the fuck? And then we just drove off. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets ice for the That was the funniest Christmas thing ever. Jake, what is your favorite Christmas memory? My dad, who was born in 1951, we had the uh, Jungle Book vinyl. And we'd play the King Louis song in the morning. And we'd wake up like, oh, Santa came. Everybody go look at all the presents and shit. And they'd put on. <laughs> and then my dad would come out there and he would walk like a fucking orangutan. <laughs> and it was like, it was so fucking hilarious. But he said he couldn't do it anymore as he got older because it started hurting his ankles. <laughs> but he did this, he did this fucking, he did this fucking ape walk that was like spot on. Like you'd watch out of a fucking David Attenborough documentary. You know, it was just the funniest goddamn thing ever, especially being an eight year old and idolizing your fucking dad. He's coming out there with <laughs> yeah. that fucking shit. Like that was that's a, a great Christmas memory for me. Right there. All right, Greg. What is your favorite Christmas memory? I was trying to think of something good, but the only thing I could really think of is every Christmas morning, whenever I would wake up and check the stocking and check all my presents and all that stuff. Whenever I was a little kid, uh, the stockings would be full of oranges and apples oh. and and mixed nuts like walnuts and, and hard Just shell give me nuts. The right? <laughs> <laughs> It was the weirdest thing. I, I guess my dad would go to the farmer's market every Christmas Eve and, and pick up fresh produce or whatever. It was Damn, a, like a cool. like a traditional thing for Finally, him. some time away from my family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's> probably that. <laughs> and so he loaded it up every time. And like the stocking was the best thing during Christmas? It, it was just a, a, a constant. It was a thing that I could rely on. A thing yeah. that I remember, you know, real strong from Again, my childhood. My my parents put always. I always get deodorant, toothpaste, fucking shit like that, right. like toiletries in my stocking. Ethan, how about That's you? That's cool. Every year, my family gets together at one of my uncle's houses, and particularly, I o I'll always remember the last Christmas that my dad was around. At that time, even though he was going through his uh, second and last round of chemo and shit, that was, I, I'd kind of mark that as the last time before all of my family shit really kind of just blew up. For that, that was the calm before the storm, and it was always just one of the happiest times I remember because everything was fine. Did right. you say you realize whenever you're not a kid anymore? That was right before it. That was Wake the end call. of the like, end I, of yeah, innocence. I, I've grown up now. Yeah. I just kind of always cherish just having everyone there for that one last time, you know? Because right. after that, man, everything just kind of changed more or less in my whole family setting. And that last Christmas, is, it was the weirdest thing. We had never taken family pictures during Christmas except for that one year. And so I remember all of us going to the park and, you know, setting up the camera and all that. I remember it in vivid detail. You know, it's something I can look back on every Christmas and just kind of smile and oh, remember That's a great that. memory for us. So. Hey, guys. That, to Ethan's yeah. dad. Fuck yeah. Ethan's dad. Rest in Valhalla. Oh, I got no look. Put a little bit in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. on the table. Just, yeah, break the mic off the stand again. Happy, Pour some more <laughs> beer out of the floor. I'm going to give you that. Well, I have, dude. A little more. A little more quarter shot. A quarter double. They call it a half a quarter. Greg. Where's your dad's name? Uh, Byron. To Byron. Byron. Byron that's Eastwood. A that's a solid. Solid. To Byron. To Byron. To Byron. To Byron. To Byron. To Byron. Oh. <laughs> to Byron Eastwood. To Byron. A hobby. 
What is your favorite Christmas memory? Christmas in 91. Here we go. Here comes a bullshit story. He fucked his first game. (laughs) (laughs) You're making it. Yeah. Christmas in '91. We went the fucking scene. (laughs) What was the weather like? It was cold. It was snow. I was actually snow. It was white Christmas. Imagine the projects of Far Rockaway, New York, in Queens, borough of Queens, best borough. Hold up. Did you just say Farquad, New York? Far Rockaway. We lived right across the Rockaway Beach. In this fucking tenement building. The Beach Channel Project. I'm sorry. I can't <laughs> <You're it. slurring. laughs> Can you? I we can hear it. Right now. Byron. Crazy. It's a Byron. It's a Byron. It's a Byron. All right. So, Javi, you were on the, the, the New York the side? The tenement the square. New Jersey side. New York oh, side. Okay. Queens don't touch Jersey. Yeah, go ahead. Well. <laughs> I just slammed Jersey. Yeah, why are you getting all upset again? Grab like both. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, just, he's trying, from I'm fucking just trying to get a picture. <laughs> All right, we went to my uncle's in-laws' house, Donia Bolivia and Senor David. What was that relationship again? My uncle's in-laws' house. So they're not really Donia no, at all. Bolivia. But they were, they had this big ass house. Wait, Donia Bolivia. Right on the beach, Donia Bolivia. E- R.I.P. She died like two years ago. Rip. All the adults are drinking. I'm four years old. I'm just watching my grandfather just like slap piss- around your grandmother. No, my grandfather's like legit just pissing off my great aunt, who's apparently uh, schizophrenic, by the way. Like he's fucking with her all fucking night. So the adults get shit faced on Coquito and fucking rum, and they decide to play a game of musical chairs. <laughs> <laughs> the adults, the adults, the adults decide to play musical chairs. Never been that up. They were fucking gone. I remember even as the kids, like, God damn, I've been sleeping a lot. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Who won? Exactly. Exactly. It was my aunt Sonia, my grandfather, and the crazy paranoid schizophrenic aunt, the other. And there was only two (laughs) chairs left and three of them left. Ah, classic. So. (laughs) Yeah. That classic. So, my grandfather, that's not to lose. He's super competitive. This is a man who actually flipped the table on a group of four year olds because he didn't want to lose a Monopoly. I mean, <laughs> 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 fuck your thimble, dude. If you play video games, I wanted to be the guy. Let me guess. Like I played Sega with this man. I was about to beat him at Street Fighter. He unplugged my remote and then beat me. <laughs> Slayer <laughs> cut me on. <laughs> and then he was celebrating when he won. Like no, 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 no. Alright, so how'd this game of music change <laughs> He pulled the chair off from Diana. She fucking went to his spot. And Diana was the crazy one. Typical Diana. She's a paranoid schizophrenic. What? Maybe one of her other personalities. Yeah, exactly. Because she got pissed. She got right up and started throwing cups and shit at him. And I was just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't even I, I think you win good. Yeah, how, how old were you at 91? Yeah, I was four years old. You were four nah, years old. Nah, that's, that's fucking amazing. That's fucking amazing, though. That's um, great. No, how are uh, you able to remember that? That's fucking impressive. awesome. So my favorite Christmas memory is Christmas Eve to me means more than Christmas. So we go to my great aunt's house, just have a wonderful meal. We had a uh, kind of like a counter. Mm-hmm. So we had two tall chairs. And the kids, every year, two of the kids were picked to be able to sit in the tall chairs. And that was like a big deal. The Christmas tree was amazing. We had shrimp. We had glazed ham. And for her, Christmas Eve was her favorite time of year. She always made it a big event for the family. Made sure that everyone felt like they were welcome, that they were home. Presents were there. It was just huge. It was just the family getting together. That was it. And what's amazing is that meant more to me at Christmas than anything else. I didn't care about the presents. I didn't care about anything. That Christmas Eve was where it was at. Cut to, I'm in Louisiana at the time with my ex-girlfriend. It's Christmas Eve, and I get a phone call. And I hear on the other side of the phone, your aunt died. Ooh, she would have died shit, on her dude. favorite day of the year, which was Christmas Eve. But you know what? I thought to myself, what what, what better way to go? She well, of course, than yeah. Than that, that's a great way to think of it. Where you made yeah. everything right for all your family. Yep, she left at her yeah. happiest. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And, that's, and I always think that, like, I want to go on my favorite day of the year. Yeah. August 12th. No, I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. I, I don't know. Uh, but I, Canada's boxing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. 
Oh, oh man, I cannot. It. It's so fucking awesome. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> right uh, yes. Uh, National Hot Dog Day, my favorite. Right. Micah, what is your most memorable gift opening moment from your childhood? So, for my birthday. It's gotta uh, be Christmas, though. Oh, it has to be Christmas? Yes. Yeah, this is the Christmas you know, cast. theme of the Christmas yeah. cast, bro. Fuck you said gift giving, you didn't oh, say. No, yeah, he's right. right. Yeah, let up. Yeah. You went birthday, go for it. Fucking GameCube, man. Oh, dude, oh, yeah? GameCube was where it was And at. that was that was the only system I had in my childhood. It was fu- me and really? my little brother broke the wheels off that motherfucker. <laughs> what uh, games did y'all have on it? Luigi? Haunted Luigi's Mansion? Luigi's no. Castle. <laughs> <laughs> we had Super Smash Brothers Melee. We had the Oak. <laughs> Me- Melee or he's the only guy that's probably been in the military out of all of us here. he just like calls it melee <laughs> melee <laughs> <Terry. laughs> <Mealy Terry. laughs> I wish dude where do I sign where do I sign for the <laughs> for the US melee <laughs> <Terry. laughs> What was it about opening that gift, though? Did you open it? Well, it just, it la- it's like a staple of my childhood, and it lasted so long. Like, that was like a icon. When I think about growing up, I think about fucking playing GameCube, dude. Fuck yeah. That. Jake, how about you? What is the most memorable gift opening moment from your childhood? I told you my parents didn't wrap their shit. Right. That's a, I, like I said, I think that's a Southern thing. That's all I can figure out. Yeah. Man. Santa doesn't wrap gifts. We right? had, yeah, we had a huge fucking fireplace in the uh, living room. Well, to me, it was huge. Not anymore. Like, it's moderate size, but right. it was nice one that you could sit on, you know, next to a ship. But all my gifts would always be lined up against that. So, I mean, every goddamn Christmas was, like, better than the next. I was a shitty fucking kid. And I was like, oh, damn, dude, this Santa guy's full of shit. <laughs> 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 like, you got these fucking like, kids over here like fucking asking for shit like I'm just like yeah I just mentioned it in passing and it's there like, <laughs> like, like bro, 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 bro. <laughs> So, so what was the best undeserved present that was under the tree? Uh, you know what? I, I was a real little fucking shithead at this time, and I feel really bad about it. What'd you but, do so bad that year that was Well, that... That was a long uh, that was fucking not the year, but either question. way, whenever I was fucking 13, year olds... Uh... <laughs> 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 Whenever I was 13, <laughs> I was uh, I was trying to race BMX at the time. I was getting into it. And I wanted a GT. No, I wanted a GT fucking dyno. And my, uh, I mean, Santa brought me a, I, I was 12, 13, whatever. I knew Santa wasn't a real fucking thing at that point. I mean, I knew that. Probably 12 and a half. <laughs> fucking, fucking, shut the phone down, Javi. I'm oh, sorry, I had a mute it. Right, no, no, you didn't. That's why I heard a fucking ding. That's why I muted it because I heard of the ding. I heard of the ding. I felt like an asshole. My dad got me a fucking red line, and I didn't want a red line. And I fucking, I was like, I don't want to ask for. And uh, they felt bad, and they brought it back the next day, and there was a dino in the fucking. Damn. Damn. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I was like, god damn. Like, Where I, the look, you feel bad? Look, looking back on it, I feel like a total fucking piece of shit because right. it's like, dude, like he was just fucking trying to help you out, but I was, I was an entire little brat. I told you, I was spoiled. Okay. I was the baby of the family, so they're just like, yeah, whatever, just fucking. And what do you want? Shut them the fuck up. Hey everyone, it's just stuck jumping in here real quick to say thank you so much for checking out the podcast today. If you're enjoying it, please head over to your favorite podcast app, Spotify, Stitcher, Podbean, iTunes, and give We Are Podcast a like. And if you get a chance, head over to our social media. All links can be found in the description. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at backslash We Are Podcast. And if you're enjoying the podcast today, please share with your friends. It's the only way we can grow this network. With that said, back to the podcast. Greg, what is your favorite or your most memorable gift opening moment in your childhood? Uh, I-, I can't remember... Too much from my early childhood. I was thinking about, like, I don't know, He-Mans and G.I. Joes and Ninja Turtles and stuff like that. But the one that sticks out to me was a Christmas that I wasn't at home. I had traveled by Greyhound bus to my 
grandmother's house in Minnesota. How old were you? It was like maybe nine, ten years old, something like that. And it was a long bus ride. And I drank too much root beer. Uh, I was riding with my mom. I'm sure it was root beer. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was just a little boy, and I had drank too much root beer. Man, I got sick all over the bus, and they had to clear the whole thing out. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, you they had to pull over. All over the bus. Yeah, it was a mess. Wow. <laughs> that's great. It wasn't. <laughs> what? Yeah, all right, that's what I switched to regular. <laughs> exactly. <that's>... <laughs> oh <laughs> man, it was a real nightmare. I was, I was right at, for hours and hours and hours, just you know. I was at a Christmas gift. <laughs> it was for <laughs> other people. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I thought I thought that you were talking about a, a Christmas gift. It's okay. Gift. It's, okay. Oh, wait, it's uh, like most people gift opening moment. A gift in opening your moment. <laughs> Today's people were my opening stomach, to Doc, you're lagging one I question behind I opened my stomach there, to the world. It's a great story, but I'm like, wait a second. You're, you're right. I completely ignored the question and went on a side. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he said Christmas in I there. So <laughs> it, it, it counts. It counts. It, it, was, it was in the Christmas season. I wasn't at home. I, I went to my grandparents' house. I got sick as fuck on the bus ride. And it, it was a it was a real nightmare. You know what? We're gone with it. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't top that, man. <laughs> no. I want to go back on the team. Maybe I said it wrong. I'm sorry. God <laughs> damn, Craig. Come on. <laughs> All right, here we go. Great, great. Right, well, uh, Ethan, you ready? Yeah, let's go. A memorable Sorry. gift, right? Remember? I remember. Mean, For me. I remember. I remember. Oh, yeah, I remember. I remember. I got to remember Chewbacca. I got into gaming, like, way early. I blame my dad for that. One of my one of the favorite memories, uh, gifts I ever unwrapped was the year I got an Xbox 360. Dude, I used oh, yeah. the shit out of that fucking console. Like, I'm surprised that thing is still held together. Because, you know, that was the first time I ever experienced, like, online play, being able to fuck around with my buddies, or being able yeah. to yeah. do this or that. It was groundbreaking <laughs> at the time. Almost. Yeah, at the time, yeah. it was it was absolutely yeah. groundbreaking to me. I, it, that thing had a whole <sighs> four whopping gigabytes, bro. Like, <laughs> what was I going to do with all that memory? What? And then two weeks later, I filled it up and was like, fuck, I need a hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was one of those things that... Uh, when you opened it, what'd you think? Oh, I thought it was the greatest thing in the world because yeah. this was the shit all my friends had. Right. I was like, oh, dude, this game on now. <laughs> get to play Halo. Game on! Get to play Literally. Call of Duty. Get to play all this shit, yeah. man. Fuck yeah. And that was my first foray into like the first person shooter genre, like hardcore. And dude, uh, I've been trapped ever since. Hobby, what is your most man back a bull? Do you remember? It's probably going to be my N64 that I got the Christmas of 1999. Damn. I hate to remember all these dates. How do you have, <laughs> you have perfect memory? What is I got per- I'm just a freak. I-, I have weird fucking memory for names and weird dates. And That's video fucking- game purchases. Okay. No. N64, Christmas of 1999. Alright, so what happened? Set the scene. There I am. Christmas morning. <laughs> I wake up. I get myself a bacon, egg, and cheese on a toasted butter roll from Coney Island. Come back home for presents. You didn't bring it? (laughs) (laughs) That was when I first... (laughs) (laughs) He's going to love this. I noticed that one of the biggest presents had my name on it, which I've never used something. What the fuck? Is this a prank? So I open it up, and it's the N64. So how'd you go when you saw that? I freaked out because I... That black console, that sleep. It was like it was like gunmetal gray. gray. Yeah. The gunmetal gray. Ooh, yeah, right. he's right. Yeah, he's right. right. Yeah. And uh, I, I opened... it. was like, preach it, preach it. Uh, <laughs> me, I opened it up. It, didn't, it wasn't like a special edition or anything that accommodated games, but I was like, holy fucking N64, my first console. N64 is my first console. My Aunt Nancy gives me two, two squares that are wrapped up. I open one. It's fucking Wave Race. Yeah. It's all right. Mm-hmm. And then the second one was 007 Golden. Oh, oh yeah. The Money. greatest fucking N64 game next to Super Mario 64. Hey, you, you do oh, yeah. know the uh, difference between a rectangle and a square, though, right? And also a cube and a square. At this point, I don't know, Jake. I don't know what to tell you. 
They're Either way, I, <laughs> those two amazing games. Well, one and a half amazing. I just want amazing Six games. Yeah. Wave Racers are like... <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. But Goldeneye, holy shit, man. I played the fuck out of that for yeah. hours that yeah. day. I was like, fuck you guys, I'm playing yeah. this. Yeah. That that second level, whenever you get into the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you got in the fucking facility. bed. Oh, facility. fuck, yeah. The facility is amazing. fucking And I, I really so love amazing. that that came that I was just like throw mines on my opponents and shit. I'm just like, I'm going to blow you I up mean, right we now. we played before, we were proximity mining. Oh, yeah. Each other. <laughs> I told you my shit was grenade launchers to the oh, temple. Yeah. You can Fuck fucking yeah. bank them shits nope. off of fucking everything. So much fun. <laughs> so much fun. All right, yeah. my favorite gift opening memory would be also video game related. Me and my brother, probably, I'm probably six, he's probably seven. Maybe even younger than that. I think the game came out in 91. That sounds about right. Didn't even know what it was. We opened up the present. It was a rectangle. Keep in mind. Uh, <laughs> and we opened it up, and and it's Kirby's Adventure for uh, Kirby's Adventure for the NES. And we both went, ah! <laughs> we started, like giddy little girls. We didn't know what it fucking was. We thought it was cool looking. And oh, I just remember looking at my brother and looking at me. And this is like the first time me and my brother Mike, which you all know, me yeah. and have history, yeah. ever had a moment where we're like, we're on the same. Yeah, team, bro. Like, you were at the Hardy Boys. And we yeah. went, ah! <laughs> <laughs> but we hit that game. For whatever reason, connected us in that moment, and I just remember being so excited because he was screaming, I'm screaming, and my parents just like, we did good. <laughs> we made it. You know what? That, that's a great point. Honestly, the look on my parents' faces yeah. whenever they see the excitement on our faces. Yeah. Right. That that I do remember sure. that. Like that's what you that, that's, that's that's fucking. And, and that was. Thank you for reminding me. Of yeah, that, dude, that honestly. was the moment though. They just could see the pride. Like you know what? We did. We did good. We yep. did good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we this. What is the craziest Christmas party you've ever went to, Micah? Probably in the army. It's probably a lot. <laughs> no shit. It's probably a lot like this podcast is going. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bottle of whiskey and then me throwing up later. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of fond memories of me throwing up on Christmas. Kind of, kind of blocked out the childhood I thing. Miss those times. <laughs> I could have been thrown up in a bathroom in Germany somewhere. Those real sobering. Chris is my goddamn family. <laughs> I do remember a specific Christmas memory of me throwing up Jaeger, like pure Jaeger, oh. on fresh snow. It was like my oh first, my God. first there, snow. My name. Yeah, it was, it was bad. I was like, oh, this is not, Jaeger's not meant, you gotta mix it. <laughs> That was Red Bull, obviously. <laughs> Jake, what is your craziest Christmas party you ever went to? Uh, uh, I might need to come back to this. I, I wasn't prepared for this question, to be honest. <laughs> Greg, how about you? What is the craziest Christmas party you've ever went to? I, I was out of town. I was in Kansas. Uh, there was a Christmas party with my family. It was kind of like a family reunion. And I bumped into a neighbor that I used to go to Kansas during the summer. And, you know, me and her kind of made a connection there. Jerry, 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 Jerry. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was. Oh, you did that. No, 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 no. Details, good sir. Details. Get it, buddy. Hey, don't say anything you don't want to. But right. details. Yeah. But say anything. Like, it, you got some on Christmas. Be brave. Is that what you're saying? You already said yeah. it. Yeah, it was, it was. It was a perfect time. It was a perfectly <laughs> memorable time. They almost say dick up. Lick the straps off my man. Man. <laughs> So, um. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting one because I don't know if Holly has heard this story or not. Oh, God. There was. Two Christmas parties I went to when I worked at the Improv. Oh God! And the second one. Oh, those were crazy to you. <laughs> but, well, you gotta remember, I'm not a I, I'm not a huge party. I, had, uh, I don't I don't do shit. Yeah. Like I, I'm the golden child of my family, pretty much. Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> This is why you need Jesus. <laughs> this is why you need Jesus on Christmas. So what happened during these Christmas parties? So uh, the second one, not so much, was, uh, wasn't was so much crazy. But the first one, Javi was still working there. And he had worked out about two weeks prior. He goes, hey, Heath. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, can you uh, can, can, can you be my DD for the, the Christmas party? <laughs> I love how he does like he turns into fucking John Travolta every time he gets fucking a little bit of fucking liquor. In oh my god, I gotta get out of here, Mister Connor. And so um, I'm like, yeah, sure, Avi, no problem, whatever. And he's like, all right, you know what? I'll make it up to you afterwards. When you know when I'm drunk, my the thing I do is I always go to Taco Bell. <laughs> Always. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'll go to a Christmas party. We'll get some Taco Bell. Well, uh, <coughs> Christmas party rolls around. And I show up like an hour or two late because I had something to do beforehand or whatever. And I get there and Javi is already fucking plastered. He was <laughs> he was gone before the Christmas party even started. Like I think it started around like seven, it's and he'd been so drinking I was since three. At like six thirty. No, like three o'clock, bro. No, man, I got there at six thirty. I helped uh, Jay and Will set up. For like 20 minutes and he started hitting the liquor. I did start hitting the liquor. But either way, I get there and I'm pretty much having to babysit Javi this whole time. Because <laughs> he is blackout drunk. He goes into the showroom and he's sitting there and he goes, Ethan! How you doing, that, buddy? That's a that sounds about right. That's actually, so, that uh, spot on. He wanted to go uh, go and get another drink. So he uh, he'd go, all right. Let's go get something else. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and start hobbling his way there, bouncing off of every wall. <laughs> and finally, he, for whatever reason, he, he decides he has to go to the bathroom, right? Oh, God. Javi goes into the bathroom, and for some reason, he comes out in his fist. His knuckles are bleeding. Why? <laughs> oh, for some reason. <laughs> he went in there. He had been punching the wall. <laughs> you can see blood streaks on the wallpaper. <laughs> Damn, hot. Was that the craziest Christmas well, party? When I'm been drunk, been? I have a very poor sense I have of a... I have a good inkling that he has no idea no, about this Christmas party. I, I, I have a very poor sense of balance. And back in those days... When I ever threw myself going What's to a wall, wall, I would post up on the wall so I wouldn't fall, so I'd go like that. I beat the shit on the wall because time. like, fuck you, wall, I ain't falling, you're falling. <laughs> but, I'm falling yeah. in. Yeah. Right, Dude, well, hold up, hold up, hold up. I still, there, there's a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, Damn. he, uh, finally, I'm just like, okay, I'm ready to go. I get Javi in the car. We pull out, go through Taco Bell. We uh, go to wherever he was staying at that point, and I think he was staying with uh, one of his friends or whatever, who I had not met, and I walk up and help him up to the door, and his friend... Uh, I don't remember this. I think I remember you mentioning, <laughs> like, hey, he just be cool, this. he's probably going to come to the door with his gun. Oh, yeah, I was, I was sitting on <laughs> a trail at the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> his friend comes to the door and goes... Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, just, I'm just dropping him off, man. I'm just oh, okay. Have a good night. That's I'm Javi's friend. Fucking it. Javi ain't got no friends. <laughs> Dude, I have never hauled ass out of a place. <laughs> I ain't crying. I ain't crying. I've only got one yeah, friend. That's me. <laughs> I don't believe yeah. you. Produce yeah. the Javi. I know the friend. guy killed me. I know you don't remember. All. I don't. <laughs> I know you don't remember any of that night, but dude, that was the funniest shit I've ever seen. No, he remembered it. He covered the Mario up every- over his fucking <laughs> Ethan, you know every day is a gift, right? <laughs> that could have been, been the last night, good sir. Dude, for sure. I'm just letting you know. Javi, what is the craziest... Cra- it was at that one. I'm not going to lie, that's probably it. it was that- <laughs> what was going on from your perspective? I was having a good time. Hey, Ethan, you, I'm drunk. Are you driving my fucking redneck fucking hey, trailer house and let a guy pull a gun in your face? I can't, the end? You can't forget his signature phrase, though. Hey, hey here we go! Hey, Ethan, you know, you're a real good guy, you I'm know that? I love you, man. <laughs> here we go! I, I love everybody when I'm drunk. Like, I'm pretty sure even everybody, hey, look, it's you know, I think you're cold. misunderstood, bro. Hey, at least yeah, you're, you're not... Know, a, you could be a good guy. At least you're not an angry drunk. No. He's a so lovey dovey drunk. He punched the bathroom wall. Of course, I was using that. No, 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 no. That wall assaulted him. We already heard this fucking conversation. <laughs> what did the wall do to you, Javi? He muttered something anti Semitic and I subtly made him yeah. pay for it. Yeah. What'd right. you say, bro? You're not even Jewish. I could be. I could be a son of Abraham. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what if he just cares about the Jewish plight? <laughs> <sighs> Micah, what is your favorite Christmas song and why? Um. 
It has something to do with Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Robin laid an egg. The Joker got away. Why is that? I like uh, DC Comics, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Way more than Christmas. Says <laughs> for <laughs> the Christmas. Jake, how about you? What is the Christmas song for you? I like the date rape song. Ah, <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. dude. What yeah, that's? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Fucking, the Why guy. Fucking, that? he put rupees in the drink. Like, right. no, because people wanted to make a fit about it for the last two years. Right. Now, like, is there something in this drink? And it's like, bitch, this was sung back in the forties or fifties. Like, there was it, definitely it, something yeah, in the drink. Of course, Absolutely. yeah. Whenever it was accepted, yeah. Well, <laughs> it was just natural. Chino, right? Back when women appreciated free drugs, right? <laughs> uh, also, <laughs> women didn't have to. <laughs> I want to be sober. They will pay you for drugs if you're a drug dealer, but if you give up for free, you're a criminal. <laughs> Explain that to me. Right? How about you? What's your favorite Christmas song? I, I don't know the name of it, but I, I, I can I can give you a little. <laughs> just, just hum it for us. All right, all right, here, here it goes. Is it Billy right, Idol? It, 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 it's, it's, from the no, no, it's, it's kind of a metal song. He goes, he goes, shut up. 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 I think that's Christmas uh, Sarajevo is what they call it. it. Why is that your favorite? Because it's so metal. Yeah, it's just it's, it's a good Christmas song. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> He's jump, right though. No, Trans Siberia is awesome. Uh, Wizards of Winter. That's the one they do with the fucking middle light commercial where the house is lighting up. And it's like dun 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 dun. That's a super dun, dun, Christmas dun, 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 dun. song. That's a yeah. You got the fucking jingle bells in there. That's yeah. the only yeah. time the devil has been brought into Christmas. Where he's like, you know what? Fuck oh, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Jesus, let's pair up for one day of the year. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the devil? <laughs> 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 Ethan. Holly's oh, 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 possessed. Is that ghost, man? The ghost you don't possessed. believe. That fucking M stands for fucking Mephistopheles. Ethan, what is your favorite Christmas song? I don't really have a favorite Christmas song. Moving man. on like, the hobby. They oh, all fucking <laughs> sound the same. for Christmas by Mariah Carey. Yeah. Suck Basic my bitch. bitch. That is one of my favorite Christmas That's songs. That's the only ever. Christmas is song you can jerk Christmas off to. Christmas song Basic or Christmas bitch. video? You know what? I mean, Because I can listen to it on mute and probably fucking jerk off. Oh, because it's, <laughs> it's the big tease of Mariah Carey. You know it's my favorite music video. Favorite <laughs> Christmas song. I thought you were an ass man. Uh, hold, on. hold on. Ethan, if you had to pick one, what would your favorite be? Um... God, I'm... Moving on to hobby. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it again. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Single Bowl Rock. Yeah, whatever. Did you say what is our favorite steampunk Christmas song? <laughs> yeah, what's your favorite steampunk Christmas song? Jingle Bowl <laughs> Rock by Brian Sensor. Oh, that's, that's our favorite Christmas one. song. Punk as fuck, dude. Because that fucking solo is the shit. <laughs> Punk is dead, it's dude. Like about four, it's like a three-minute solo, and it's just like him fucking shredding that guitar. Dude, Brian, Brian Sensor, Sensor is amazing. Can. Have you ever oh. seen him live? It's amazing. I've seen him dead and alive. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite movie for Christmas? Mine has to be The Rankin and Bass, Rudolph and uh, Frosty. Both of them share a very special place for me. Like, I love both of those. So, uh, we watch those every Christmas. I'm going to watch them this Christmas. They're terrible, but they're a tradition. So of course. I'm going to watch those. Uh, how about you, Micah? What do you watch? Every a Christmas, Christmas story, and specifically Classic. because I thought fudge was a bad word for like <laughs> most, most of my childhood. Until I learned the word fuck, and I have a I have a lot of anxiety around changing tires. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, what is your favorite Christmas movie? I don't know what you're all thinking. I'm gonna say Die Hard. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> my man. But 
<laughs> no. <laughs> not. To be honest, every Shane Black movie is a fucking Christmas movie. So we got Die Hard. We got, we got Iron, Iron Man, Man 3. 3. <laughs> we got <laughs> yes. Bang Bang. Yes. Yeah. yeah that was I like, maybe like, Predators. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> also, I would argue that um, Hateful Eight is a Christmas movie. Yeah. Yeah. They do yeah. play uh, Silent Night. Well, it's during it's during the fucking dead of winter. It's clearly right before Christmas, so I I really enjoy that one. And honestly, that was the week of Force Awakens comes out. You downloaded. Sorry, here you can bleep this out. Pirated. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you pirated a hard R movie. Uh, hey, for eight. Two days before we went and saw The Force Awakens. Right. And we watched The Hateful Eight on great fucking quality, right. by the way. And that was like, holy shit. Great like, that was a great fucking uh, Christmas for me right there because it was already uh, Christmas just before that. That, uh, yeah, you want to fucking, <laughs> you want to go into this? Okay. Yeah, let's go into this. All right, you don't like Hateful Eight? If Samuel okay. Jackson isn't getting his dick sucked, <laughs> is I mean, it Christmas even? I feel like it's one of those movies you gotta see multiple it's times. Even Christmas. Another podcast, another podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Podcast. <laughs> that was a damn good podcast. It ain't gonna yeah, suck that itself. Was yeah, that was we're going to repeat going to see Star Wars on Friday morning. Do yes. You guys you what is hanging. your favorite you better not leave me hanging. Christmas movie? Uh, uh, no, no, pass, pass, pass for me. Can't you think got? of anything? Uh, <laughs> say Gremlins. The only so. thing I can oh, think shit. of right now is Bad Santa. Ah, oh, that's yeah, a great yeah, fucking yeah. movie. Why, do you, why would you eat? Yeah, it's say that. It's a good, it's a good hey, one. Greg, it's hilarious. I mean, it's a great movie. Billy Bob Thornton's a man. And uh, yeah, it's a good one. Bernie Mac and John Ryan. Right. Ethan, what's your favorite Christmas movie? For me... It's got to be Elf, Will Ferrell, bro. Oh, fuck yeah. So, I fucking love that movie, dude. It's classic. It's Will Ferrell at his absolute best. Mm-hmm. And on top of that, so uh, both my mom and my sister, they have iPhones. And back in the day, uh, you know, because I wanted to be the coolest kid, you know, around, uh, I learned how to make ringtones and shit for that from little sound clips. You know, it's simple. It's simple. It's not hard. Santa! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Six thirty in the morning. Set the alarm. Set uh, Oh my god! I know him. I know him. I know him. <laughs> like, if either of you are listening, this is your warning, man. It's <laughs> Christmas Day. You're about to get near full of feral. <laughs> Is Ill- Santa, yeah. Yeah. Hobby, what is your favorite Christmas movie? Santa Claus. What is that? What, Tim Allen? Tim Allen. That's fuck a good one. You. That's Stick a good one. Alright, go ahead. Watch That's a good one. Fuck it's got, no, no, it's got David Crumholz in it. Yeah, Bro, you want juice now, David? <laughs> no, I just want to know why. why First of all, <laughs> I saw that movie in theaters back when they actually had that poorly CGI polar bear in the actual cut. Wait, yeah. what? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and also uh, the ex- the expen- no the ex- the expanding of him getting fat yeah. in the fucking Santa suit also mm-hmm. was like they cut what? that off for the VHS release for some reason for real what? Yeah. yes Damn it. yeah well that fits well that's with the opposite Are you George yeah. Lucas dude George Lucas <laughs> yeah. more CGI. dude we what is more of it <laughs> what is it with George Lucas and going back and like changing all this shit <laughs> he's a time traveler so dude. what was it about seeing that movie in theaters that made it work for you. Because I saw like three days before Christmas. I don't remember the date, so there goes my fucking memory. Yeah, yeah. Finally, fuck it. <laughs> Damn, you couldn't go three for three, but, uh, bitch. I just really like. <laughs> I've always been obsessed with the Christmas feeling that you know, you know, Thanksgiving's my favorite holiday, but I really like the way Christmas season makes me feel because it's like it's something palpable in the air, and for some reason that movie just fucking like manifests everything I was feeling onto screen. And I really enjoyed it. I felt super Christmassy that night after I saw it and was walking out. Hey, you know what? Life ain't too bad. But right. then it got worse. Oh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Damn. Oh, oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <And> damn you. <laughs> ever, ever since then, you know, Santa Claus has always brought that feeling back to me. For however fleeting moment it was, it always gave me that feeling back. So, 
I kind of I kind of feel like I need to ask, what do you think of the Santa Claus two and three? That doesn't exist to me. <laughs> I love <laughs> that Avatar. Because we're not in Canada. We don't God, talk man. about that. That's the redheaded right stepchild of the Santa Claus fucking. They were franchise. decent movies. You need no. to get the fuck out of this podcast. And never <laughs> turn the fucking words. Martin Short so stopped at Three Amigos. <laughs> 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 Oh, is uh, Nightmare Before Christmas a house movie or a Christmas movie? Christmas movie. Emo. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. No, no, no. Why are we even asking this? We You're hate right, this. This is canon. Canon. It's canon. We, we don't like Nightmare Before Nightmare Christmas. For Christmas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening. This has been Christmas. <laughs> We've had a great time. This has been Duck. I have been here with... Jake and Tommy. and our three special guests we got Micah and Greg and Ethan. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, have a merry Christmas and a happy New Year. Enjoy Don't the fuck yourself. Out. No. Oh, enjoy. enjoy the fuck out of yourself. No, enjoy. Star Wars. Enjoy fucking yourself. And for the love of oh, God, enjoy. enjoy it. Go fuck Jesus. <laughs> Star Wars. A Christmas. Hey, Damn. Yes. Oh my god, Rise of Skywalker comes out December twentieth. Damn, Happy like, Christmas. That's our Jesus. Uh, the birth of Disney. And there it is. Thank you so much for checking out the podcast today. If you have enjoyed it, please do not forget to share with your friends. That is how we grow the network. And if this is your first time listening, head over to your favorite podcast app, Spotify, Stitcher, Podbean, iTunes, and give We Are Podcast a like. And if you've enjoyed this podcast, you're going to love the other podcast here on the We Are Podcast Network. We have We Are Bagoo, a video game podcast featuring me and Dr. Ethan Eastwood. That's where we talk Atari to Steam and everything in between. Don't forget, Heroes Jiro's a Dungeons and Distraction side quest. Me and the boys were sitting down, we're playing some D&D, we're having so much fun. You can go ahead and start that from the beginning of the journey, Season 1, Episode 1. You're going to love it all the way through. And finally, I hate being sober. Personal stories from epic people. I'm going to sit down with some of the most epic people I've ever met in this world, and we're going to talk about their life, we're going to talk about their trials and tribulations, and we're just going to talk about their journey this far. Head on over to our social media. All links can be found in the description. You can find us at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at backslash we are podcast. Also, head over to the Facebook group, We Are Era. We would love to see you in that group. And don't forget, if you've enjoyed the podcast today, share it with your friends. That's the only way we can grow this network. With that said, do not forget, support local comedy in any way that you can. We really do appreciate it. We'll see you next time.